Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, with the US markets being closed in observance of Memorial Day, the relatively global markets were quiet and therefore I do expect to see this to continue. However, the view in the Australian dollar since the market cleared that 71.55 edges higher and now looks towards that 60 day moving average, which I view around 72.60.65. Technically, the markets are still relatively bullish with the ADX holding very firmly and also the RSI married up to the MACD does support further gains. With the US dollar slipping slightly overnight from 101.60 to 101.30, the euro edges slightly higher, but not quite clear in that level of 107.85. However, with the market still holding to a bullish ADX and also with the RSI married up to the MACD to support further gains, could see a rise up towards 108.45 and reassess from there. Dips are likely to be shallow, but overall, I still feel the market has a little bit further more to gain before any reversal. The dollar yen, well, this time the market's respected that 127 area and slightly bounced to close in around 127.50. With the RSI back into positive territory, let's see if the market will continue. There is some resistance coming into that top side around, or just under 128. I do feel the market may give up these gains. Nevertheless, with little guidance from the US, let's see how the market opens today. Moving on to sterling, we also see this market has edged further to the upside and now on the verge of challenging this region around 127 figure 40 with the ADX bullish and also the RSI and the MACD supporting further gains. Let's see if the market can crack that top side. I feel there is potential and if seen, then we may see a rise up towards that region seen around the high 129. Sterling Kiwi still remaining somewhat soft as the market now looks towards 192.5. I still feel from a technical point there is room to actually see a further slide that is towards 191 and then reassess from there. Finishing up with gold and oil, the market traded sideways without the US, slightly lackluster, but nevertheless, I'm still keeping an eye on that RSI in case it does decide to pierce the midway point and therefore may see further pressure and take out the level of 1838 which in terms would give further exposure to the downside towards that target around 1,788 to 92. However, oils rallied further and heading pretty much for that 118 target. And I feel from there may struggle. The market balls may look back to when we previously got up to these highs and it was pretty much a very sharp downturn from this peak, anywhere from around 118 to about 122 ish. Still, I feel the market bears are prepared for an ambush. Let's see if we do get that, if we get closer towards that level. Well, that wraps it for the morning. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, look out for the intraday report and also the end of the day wrap.